All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, straight into the convers- finish the conversation we were just having off air uh, about how I actually got into podcasting. So in high school, I was dating this girl. I'm not gonna say her name, but I already had the mindset that I was gonna go ahead and start a podcast. You know, do the YouTube thing. Mm-hmm. You know, in my free time, cause I ain't doing nothing. You know, and I'm broke. So. I get a girl. I'm not gonna say broke. You're never broke. You're never broke. But I mean, like, I don't got no job. Financial hardship, but you're not broke. You're never broke. So, I give it a girl. I give it this girl. She takes it upon herself to say, okay, she see what I'm trying to do with the podcast. Mm-hmm. So she's like, I want to be a part of it. My partner's type deal. So, you start a YouTube channel. Start a YouTube channel. Um, Eli and so and so, her and her name. You know, I was all for it because I'm like, okay, you serious? Mm-hmm. You know. Um, she was like, we start doing it. We we build up the little brand. You know, the subscribers were coming in like crazy because you know it's a couple venture or whatever. Three episodes in, we get into three episodes in. She started bringing up like shit. Like, I don't want to do it anymore. We need a new camera. And I'm like, you're broke. Like, you can't, can't even afford it. Financial hardship. You can't even it's afford a camera. You talk about we need a new camera for a YouTube channel. We just <laughs> started. Like, 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 bro. Like, bro. Then, what was it? It was uh, after the third episode. She was like, she ain't want to do it until everything with the show was just right. We needed a background. We needed this, that, and the third. So like, she just wanted to go full throttle. Much. She well, she was she was trying to go professional when we just like we we started one week and you already trying to go to thousand. No, what's wrong with that though? Know. What's wrong with that? You don't got no money. What am I? Doing? She didn't have a job. None of that. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, then I understand now. Okay, you should say that from the beginning. It did. Okay. Like, okay. We gonna get to the petty part because this is also a toxic relationship. Okay. It got to a point to where, cause I'm like, it's it's about a couple months go by. We ain't recorded nothing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, and I'm like, like, bro, like, what we doing? Like, I'm serious about this. So she takes it upon herself to log into the YouTube account, the account, and all <laughs> that type of stuff, and start deleting the videos one by one. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. So then I ask her about it, like. Yo, what's the like? Where the video that like? And she was like, I don't know. I'm like, you the only person with the password to the account. Like, you just be real. Like, what happened? Like, if you ain't want to do the show, just say that. To this day, if I would talk to her to this day, she'll swear up and down she ain't delete that video. She the only person. Uh, only the only person. But what if she would have deleted it? She deleted that video. <laughs> ain't no way. <laughs> ain't, ain't no way. <laughs> Okay. If you had if you had a YouTube channel that you started with somebody and you know who else has that password, ain't no way. Cause like is if that you, the only way that you can delete the videos? I mean, YouTube, log in? YouTube can delete it for you, but YouTube will send you an email. Okay, okay. So it wasn't no. I know she like she not slick. Then after I pressed her about that, the account disappeared. Well, it's God, you know. It was. It wasn't meant for you guys to go on that venture together. See, look at you now. You doing your own podcast for yourself. Right. Right. And then that's how yeah, I got into. Yeah, worked in mysterious ways. Yeah, and then I got into, and then I after that I got into like serious podcasting thing. You know, I ran through about ten people. Yeah. And y'all already know that story. But ten was too many to start with. <laughs> you should have known. <laughs> you should have known first off. Should know. But guys, welcome to Eli's Viewpoint. Uh, we're back once again. We're gonna be bringing content to you guys weekly. Uh, shout out to the YouTube family. We got a video for you guys this time. And I also have a special guest. Hi. So, so we have Tatiana here. Um, Tatiana's actually like one of my longtime friends from just not even high school, but how long have I known you? 
been some years. It's been several years. <laughs> uh, she's somebody who um, I definitely like her, where her opinion and where she comes from and a lot of different topics as far as like mental health or just having a real conversation. Like just one of the very few people that I really like value when we have our conversation. Cause it'd be like, I get something from it right there. Thank you, you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for so warm and tired. Well, I'm Tatiana, nice to meet from Elias Podcast Friends. And you Thanks. too. Yeah. Shout out to the family. But um, before we get into today's episode, uh, first things first, shout out to WPMM Radio. Uh, that's where this show is brought to you by in uh, Changing Horizons L- Media Group, LLC. Uh, shout out to them. That's where this show is now powered by. So if you need any uh, media services such as uh, video content, uh, website, building, U-Haul, are we still doing U-Haul thing? Uh, any of those services, please look up Changing Horizons Media Group LLC and um, feel free to reach out to those guys. I'll uh, leave you guys the contact information at the end of the video, at the end of this episode. And then, of course, you guys, if you guys want some smell good, roll on body oil products, something that works a lot better than cologne or spray on cologne or perfume, I have the roll on body oils, you know. Go on the website right now, thealexanderbrain.com, and get them for 50% off. And Tim Tim recommend. I am wearing it right now. Back. Back. Shout out to Tati. Tati's I wear it every day. Ugh. I'm draining my pockets. <laughs> it's worth it, though. It's worth it. I appreciate it. Because I smell like it for days, and I love that. And it be in my clothes. I'm going to cook this. I'm going to cook this. <laughs> but seriously though and I use the shea butter I really really love the shea butter it helps with your skin um, it also to me personally it helps with pigmentation so you should definitely go get you some Alexandria shop at alexandriagrand.com grand sure but yeah but today guys we got a, a really great episode for you guys today and this episode is actually uh, based off a conversation that me and Tati had last night. Um, we're going to be touching on mental health. Uh, we're going to be touching on relationships and polygamy. Couple, yeah. I really want to know, but you don't really know what it is, but I'll explain it to you. We're going straight into it? We can? Okay. We can, we can go straight into it. So, do you believe in polygamy? Gotta, okay, the, the so I'm going to, my handy dandy, the polygamy, the practice or custom of having more than one wife or husband at the same time. So would you be comfortable with bringing another person into your relationship? Would I be comfortable? Um, I would say it would depend on the state of life that I would be in. So like, and I'm going to give y'all a background. So, my my family is Muslim, mm-hmm. so I have a Muslim background. So in Islam, it's permissible that you can have uh, the man can have several different wives. But why not the wife? But well, let me we're gonna get into that. Okay, why not the wife though? Well, because it's women. several different. Well, in Islam, the man take care of everything. So mm-hmm. if we're going to if we're going to have kids or whatever, or we're saying we're going to have multiple wives. The, the, it's a rule to it. So it's not just a lot of people in America just think, oh, y'all can just fuck on whoever type deal. It's rules that come with it. So you can mm-hmm. have multiple wives, but you have to be able to afford and maintain those wives. So what I do for you, I got to do for the wife over here. Plus their kids? Cor- yeah. Okay. Correct. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. So it's like, I'm, it's very like deep. the African practice. Yeah. Okay. It's, I have a lot of uh, friends and a lot of older people who uh, they practice that, but they can afford it. They got money. Like it's people I, in America is different. Like most relationships in America, like the way yeah you know, that work, it's not gonna work in America, but in other countries, that's very common. Well, I would say this: most people right now in America, they don't want to like be married. They just want to basically just bring in a third sex partner. So I'm using you just for sex. Right. You can't catch no feelings for my boyfriend or um, my girlfriend, but we're just going to use it for sex. Right. 
And then like when it comes to when it does come to uh the situation as far as uh having multiple wives in Islam, that actually kind of goes deeper into like just uh, Islamic history mm -hmm. as far as like, you know, it's been several different wars. You know, Muslims been fighting thousands of years. You got the Shiites versus Sunnis. The whole, it gets just deep. You know, religion it just yeah. caused a lot of wars. It does. Just, so it does. a lot of that comes from, a lot of that comes from when it, when it came to war, a lot of the men would get killed and mm -hmm. it would be more a lot more women mm -hmm. single women than it would be men okay so you, what the let me hold on so i was reading this book by sister soldier okay. and she spoke about that she was just like there's not a lot um a black men to go around for other black women so why not share our black men because she felt like um majority um of our black men are incarcerated or don't really meet the standards Standard. of a black woman, right? Mm -hmm. You know, to say the least. But I'm sorry for interrupting, but I just had to say that because I don't know how I feel about that. Sharing, though. I agree to a certain extent. Sharing. I feel like if you're going to share because it's due to a limited amount of men, I feel like that man should at least have his shit together. But also, it's, it's not even like, the shit together. It's about a lot of emotion goes into that love is a power i mean not a powerful a dangerous thing it is powerful but it's also dangerous right so think about that but i mean in islam this is more so uh at the at the time like at the time when the these stories happened and stuff the amount of men it was limited mm -hmm. so it's like okay and then you know when and also here's how another thing about islam so if my brother's wife died that's my responsibility to take care of his wife and kids because that's the man's role in Islam. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't understand that because a lot of people don't um, study Islam out in America. Mm -hmm. But like, so if my brother die, and like the way Islam is, the wife don't work. That's not happening. Like the wife don't work at all or do anything. But that's just a tradition. You know, the wife stay at home and take care of the kids and, you know, to keep the house in order type of deal. And the man provides for the whole family. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in the event that, you know, my brother and my cousin's wife die, you know, they're single. I take care of them until they have, until they get another man. Mm -hmm. So that's how that works. But as far as my opinion on would I entertain polygamy, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't just be, I'm not that type of person that's like, okay, Let's bring another person into our relationship. Like, I'm not looking, I'm not going out my way to do something. So what if like she that. brings it to the table and be like, hey, I kind of want to bring another girl into the relationship. How do you think? I would be open to it, but it just, we would have to have a discussion about it, though. Okay. It's just like, because it's like, I mean, like, I'm not dying to do no shit like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not something like, I'm just like, hey, I wake up, let's do this. Because... <laughs> I already know just from my experience, like have, dealing with multiple women, like it's it a can hassle. Be, it can become it's a, a hassle. headache. It's a it's headache. A hassle. It's a hassle. It's an emotional hassle. Right, and I ain't. Women are emotional creatures. I ain't trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> they are emotional creatures. And then also, somebody uh really close to me said something. Uh, was like, um, a man can only have as many women as he can afford. Mm -hmm. It's just like true. That's true. Mm, you got a lot of bummy niggas that's out here affording it. Dang, I don't speak too much on it. Be real. Mm. I mean, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Some of these girls like broke dudes. I say that. So. I want to say, but I mean, options are limited. Would you agree? Options are limited when it comes to what, men? Men? No, so you want to say options are limited when it comes to men? Well, uh, let's see, not just men, but the men that most women want, or what? Okay, most well, women, yeah, yeah, yeah. What they say they want, yeah, that's yeah. limited. The it good is. guy who, who's not gonna cheat, the good guy who's not gonna, you know, fuck off, or the good guy who 
got a good job. But it's a mindset. To me, it's a mindset thing. If you can get yourself together mentally, then you will be okay. For our black men, for me personally, I feel like trauma. So the things that they went through before they've gotten up to the point, it's time for me to go out here and be a man. It fucks them up already because they right. have to go back, go through all of the shit. Some people get counseling, some people don't, some people just go through it like normally. So that plays a factor in it as well. Okay. That's tough. It does. My brain is. You don't think so? I do. But also, I'm a, I'm at a state to where, like, as I get older and I study more, uh, I start to realize, like, when I look at just black people as a whole and just black men in general, or just black people as a whole, I think it's just time, like, we put all, put away all the excuses because we know the system, everything is yeah. fucked up. But yeah. it's like... Okay, get your shit together. There's no excuse to not get your shit together. My motto is <laughs> time waits for no man. Exactly. Period. And you are your own worst enemy. Those yeah. are my, oh, I love it. Perfect example. So, like, love it. if somebody goes to prison, a black man goes to prison, mm -hmm. and you go away for 20 years, you you don't got a life sentence. Mm -hmm. So, when you come out, you still have an opportunity to get your shit together. But you don't know nothing. You've been behind bars for 20 plus years. But while you doing that time period, you you got all the time in the world to learn to figure shit out. The world is different now. You can't just figure that shit out behind bars. You have to go out and live in it to be in like present in the moment. I know, but you can't. It ain't something that you can just go out and But you could go out your way. But would you not agree that you can't go out your way? So in prison, they have updated technology. They can watch the news, so they'll see like, okay, this is where the world is going. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not physically out here to be on no phone or nothing like that, but mm -hmm. they can see, okay, uh, technology is going up. Cryptocurrency is new. Stocks are going up. Or um, They don't have the education to know about those things. They have school. So, prison, you can get the degree. Not, you think people coming to the prison to <laughs> prisoners about crypto and investing in stuff? No. Yes. Name it's possible. I, I know one person who they're a stock investor. They're a stock and investor they go to prison. prison, and they're in prison right now. Uh, I have to look him up for you, but it's a he did an interview with Vlad TV. Mm -hmm. Um, I, if I can't find it, I'll let y'all. I'll let y'all know, and I'll probably just add the clip later on the show. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's a investor, and he started investing in prison. It's just a waiting at the time to be free, but it's like that. But but how is he doing it though? I have to go check it out watch that. It's okay. been a couple of years. I'm gonna have to watch it. But also, but it's just like I just feel like life is hard in general, but it's no excuse. If you have if you're not paralyzed and you fuck your body functioning right. Yeah, you probably done went through a whole bunch of shit. You might be traumatized and shit, but there's no excuse to not get your shit together. Yeah, agree, agree. Especially when it's just you. Mm -hmm. If it's just you, like you don't got no kids, you don't got, like you don't, you don't got no shit. You don't got no choice but to get your shit together instead of complaining and shit. Mm -hmm. Cause at the end of the day, it's like, it, and it, I look at here's how I look at life in general. If certain certain shit don't turn out. Or I don't reach one of my goals in life, whether it's realistic or not, that's on me that I ain't reach that goal. Mm -hmm. Because either I ain't go hard enough or it just ain't put myself in that position to go get what I was trying to do. Or life just, ha just happened. Yeah, that too. But at the end of the day, that's on me though. And I feel like that self accountability is missing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, God forbid, you get a sickness out the blue, you just get cancer. That's on you? Oh, no, that's not. Okay, so I mean, you just have to okay clarify. But I'm, I'm not saying in the sense like that too. I'm Some saying people are like you know really sick. Right. They're put in positions to where they just can't go out here and live life and get it reach their goals because they just been smacked in the face by life. Right. Well, I'm saying if if everything's going good, uh, I'm not uh, homeless. Okay. Everything's going good. Okay. I had a stable. I had a stable childhood. They stand the third. I feel like. And everything's okay. I'm not paralyzed. No crazy shit. Mm -hmm. I feel like it should be no excuse why I didn't reach my goal to get my shit together. 
Learn about your mental state, though. That plays a part, too. That, too. Okay. That, that includes so, a good mental state, too. Okay, well, then, yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. And I also, but also, when it comes to the mental state shit, I feel as if, uh, and a lot of people probably not gonna like this opinion, but I'm just saying it real like, I feel like the world, the way the world is, and Earth just in general is survival of the fittest. Everybody's not gonna make it, like, yes. like with the COVID shit, like niggas is gonna die. Don't get me started on COVID. <laughs> Do like, not get me started on COVID, <laughs> man. It's some stuff that I want to say, but I can't say it. Why? Because I can't say it. But you get all the vaccines and you you get all the vaccines that you want to get, but at the end of the day. If it's your time to die, you gonna die. That's how like, I feel. That's, no that's how I feel also. But then <laughs> I feel like COVID honestly was a hype the disease. The flu, that shit wiped out people also. Right. So what's so big about COVID? And then to me for the vaccines, why are there three different uh vaccines? There's only one flu shot. So if I die, because I got the flu shot nine times out of ten, the other motherfuckers gonna start dying. Because we're all vaccinated by that one thing. Three different vaccines. We don't know what the fuck is going on. They have some Moderna. I think they're just giving you all of it. I don't know. I, I already know, but uh, Man, what's that company name that, that made the baby powder? I Johnson never Johnson. take nothing from them. Johnson like, they, Johnson. <laughs> Johnson be <laughs> They be giving people uh, ovarian All types cases. of stuff. <laughs> so when people just be like, Tim, go get vaccinated. Go get vaccinated. I just be like, I'm just, you know. No comment. <laughs> you know. I feel you though. Cause all of it is. But I feel like at the end of the day, no matter what it is on Earth, just it's nature in general. Life is survival of the fittest. Mm-hmm. Everybody not gonna make it. Everybody not gonna be the top dog. Everybody not gonna be the head person in charge. It's just that's just life. Like some people, like you just gotta know yourself as a person. Honestly, like life is survival of the fittest. Like your body might might not be as strong as mine. Yeah. But hey, but uh, what what was we were gonna talk, talk talking on polygamy, right? Mm-hmm. Um. If I was in a position, like, if I had, like, a, a ton of money. You'll do it? I would consider it. I wouldn't do Why? it, but I would consider it. I don't think I, I cannot do it. I want to love one Well, person. what sense? Like, like as far as a love standard or just no, like, having. No, like, y'all in a full-blown relationship. I'll, like, do you feel like one you're. Person. Okay. Yeah, one person. Okay. I can't, I, I can't do nothing. That's too much. So, but it's your saying, yeah, but if you were, if you had the money, you would just have another girlfriend just to have them. Like, I wouldn't have it just to have it, but it, <coughs> it depends on the situation. So, like, if it was a, just a situation where, you know, for, say, my wife couldn't have kids or something. Okay. But, of course, I would talk, but, of course, I would talk with her, though, like, be like. It's cool. Like, is it okay? Like, you know, if I... I don't know. I'm selfish. I don't want to share. I'm not going to do all of that. But that's where the communication come from, though. Not like you said, like that. But I'm a, I am a one person dude. Like I can't really be dipping the dab and doing all that. It's too much. And women like, it's, I'd rather not have that date. Are you emotional? No. So you don't cry. You don't, like, how do you show her you love her? Uh, I'm affectionate. But she's just not emotional. Like, I mean, I'm emotional, but it's like, I'm a man, though, like, so it's like, I'm gonna let you know if my feelings hurt or if I feel some type of way about some shit, but it's like, by the time you try to change some shit, I just like, all right, well, on to the next. Like, let's keep this shit going. Mm-hmm. Like, like, <laughs> like, it ain't gonna hurt my feelings. <laughs> like, I'm not emotional to the point to, like, nothing's going to hurt my feelings. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just be like, it is what it is. I don't like, know. Shit, like, my feelings get hurt easily. But, like, I'm going to buy, like, how I show I'm affectionate. I'm going to I'm going to buy you flowers. I'm going to take you on dates. I'm going mm-hmm. to, uh, you know, cuddle you. Be affectionate to stand up. But as far as being, like, 
I put it like this. If some shit was to go left, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be sitting here crying and shit. I am. <laughs> 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 I'ma just cry. I was just like <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that helps me crying. I and I've gotten to the point where if I if I needed to cry, I'd be like, I'm gonna cry and I'm gonna sit in it. And then once I cry about it, I'm okay. But I can't just hold it in. I feel I like everybody's different though. Like, you say I'm a cry baby. Even with me, like I'm um I'm a solution based person. Mm-hmm. So if some shit not going my way, I'm gonna try to have that conversation to try to fix whatever the issue is. So like if I'm having something going on in my relationship where I feel the type of way, I'm gonna bring it up, but it's not gonna hurt my feelings if shit don't go right or no shit like that. Like I'm mm-hmm. just like it is what it is. Or like but I or even if a money situation or I lose a job or some shit like that, like I'm not gonna sit there and cry about it. I'm not crying about shit. Oh no I'm not crying about it. Because like I'm going to like just I'm gonna drive a plan, we gonna like how we gonna figure this shit out. That's the type of person I am. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about no. I'm not sitting there and crying about shit. Just, <laughs> he's like, let's go. Let's okay, let's go. okay, we did it. Elijah, you're not a crybaby. Yeah, for sure. Oh my God. Like, but some people are though. Like, no, I that's no know. offense to the people who are, but it's just not me as a person. But I am. I'm emotional, but I'm not emotional. You're not going to just see me boo boo crying. <laughs> But I think it's just because in my life, like I've just had, a, I've seen a lot of wild ass shit. Mm-hmm. I've had people do wild shit to me. Like what? So, like, just, um, I've had people steal money from me. I've had uh, a lot of wild. Uh, let's let's see. Let's some of some extreme. I gotta, I gotta think on that. But, yeah, I gotta think on that. Uh, <laughs> I'll, 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 we'll, we'll come back to that. But I've had several people do like a lot of wild shit to me. But it just got to a point where like, I don't let nothing affect me. Like, I don't let nothing affect my mental state. Like at the end of the day, I know who I am. Mm-hmm. So like I'm happy with myself. Mm-hmm. So if somebody else is not happy, like I could care less. Like, that shit be me. So mean. How that mean? Like, it's mean. like now, if I'm doing something that's offending somebody, I'm gonna try to fix it up. But I'm happy with myself, so I'm never gonna be in my feelings or worried about it. Worried about it. Yeah. I feel like just I'm a longevity person too. Like, so like I feel like the time time tells all. Mm-hmm. So if I'm in a relationship and I'm being cheated on, or if I'm got a specific goal that I'm working towards daily, like as far as being successful, I know eventually I'm gonna get there. Or the time is gonna tell me what I need to know. I was having this conversation with one of my friends and she was like, everybody cheats. Do you believe that's true? No. You you never you never cheated? No. I've never cheated either. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Because she was like, um, what did she say? Dang. She was speaking on it, and she was like, well, you know, we have to forgive them to a certain extent. Like, I can't remember verbatim. But I was just like, no, because that's loyalty. Like, you, Is it it's raining. raining. Yeah, that's mad random. Like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. It's pouring down. <laughs> but what were you saying? Mm-hmm. You watched Dream Dog? I did. Oh, okay. Okay, but no. So, so how do you feel about cheating? Cheating? Um. Well, for when? So, if your partner cheated on you, would you be able to take him back? Yeah. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. I but. If we, it depends on the, the seriousness of the relationship. If like we this married, person emotionally cheated on you. Emotionally, what's emotional? So to me, I, I feel like if you emotionally cheat on me, then you, you took the time out of your day, your night, like everything to um, get to know this person. 
So she knows your birthday. She knows one of your 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 secrets, something that you share and you share with another person. And then so like that leads to emotionally having sex, like emotional sex. If that okay. makes sense. I mean so I'm I wouldn't say uh I'd be mad, but it was, put it like this. It depends on the seriousness of the cheating. Cheating is like if you, if I feel like you're cheating, just like you're, you're trying to do me dirty type shit. I'm not taking you back. Like we don't got nothing to talk so about. So there's a such thing as accidentally cheating on someone because I feel like that's what you was about to say. Like you uh, giving me. I wouldn't say that. Okay, but okay, finish then because I'm very. But interested. I mean, I don't know. But if I was cheated on and say we're married or some shit mm-hmm. and we took the vows and all that shit, yeah, I'll take you back because we're married. Or just if I'm having a girlfriend in general that I'm dealing with, and we serious or whatever, and you go out show up because I understand. So what would be your breaking point? I understand. What would be your breaking point? What would be your breaking point? Uh, bullshit. Elaborate. Like, what would be your breaking point? Be like, okay. The crazy, crazy shit, like flipping out, tearing shit up. That's my breaking point. Tearing, like tearing shit up, flipping out. Um, So cheating is okay though. Before you finish, it's not okay. okay. It's not okay, but it's. It depends on the context of the cheating. Okay, so what is it? Like, I need an explanation. I just need... I, I, I can't say... I can't say, like, specifically. It's just, like, it depends on the context of the cheating. Because I could be getting cheated on because... I feel like cheating is cheating. But let me finish, though. <laughs> I'm saying, I could be... The person could be cheating on me because I'm not doing something. They feel like I'm not doing something or type of something like that. Okay. That could be a reason. Like, you know, that might be a reason. But I feel like... And but why not leave? If this person is not giving you everything that you you could ever want, why not leave? Because you could still love that person. So I'm gonna be with this person and cheat on this person that I love, and then go out here and find something that's what I want. But I'm just dragging this person, the other person along. Some sometimes. people do that. Yeah, it happens. Like shit happens. <laughs> I, I understand where you're coming from, but shit happens. I look at, I'm but I'm person. saying so you you will stay. So you like if, how would you handle that? If well, how I would have a conversation. I'm a big I'm a big person on communication. So if she she just say okay I'm gonna be done with him, but they are already basically in their whole relationship. Um, are you gonna stay with her after this conversation? Even though she's saying her mouth is saying that she's done, but her heart and mind is not. But I mean, I'm, I'm the type of person. I look at everything from all sides. I'm a very transparent person, so like, I, I could understand it. I might not agree with it, but I could understand like where somebody coming from. So you know, you cheating with this and the third. I'm but I have, I, have a, I have a big heart. Oh my god! I have a, I have a big heart. So like, I'm happy that's. <laughs> if I really like, really so if somebody's cheating on you. You're gonna stay. Well, that's right, what you so just no, said. No, wait, no, that's no, no, what no, no, you no, just no. said. If it, oh, ha- if, it, if it happened, no. if it happened no. one time, uh, I would stay. But like, if it's like repetitive, hell, I'm leaving. No, you just said no, you're no, gonna no, stay. No, so like, you just, drop. if you want to cheat on somebody. He's the one. Just relax. He's the one. He is the one for you. He is the one. Mm -mm. Wait. No. I'm like I said though. I'm a I'm a solution based person. Like if we we even get to the girlfriend, if we even get to the girlfriend stage, I'm looking at you like, okay, this is the future contender to be my wife. Mm I'm not like just like willy nilly just dating just being in a relationship type shit. Cause I could really care less. Like, my life is gonna go good regardless. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm a, one thing about me, no matter what's going on in my life, I'm gonna always be a happy person. Mm-hmm. I'm always in a good mood. I'm not letting nothing ruin my day or nothing. So, but everybody else is different. She is the little cheater. If you cheat like one time, no, okay. It's a cheater. Yeah, like, we too grown to be out here cheating. Well, you can say that, but it's people that been married that I just feel like be single. Every once in a while, maybe that, like, you know, slip up. 
How do you slip? Please, it's possible. How do you slip up? How do you slip up? Please. Everybody is not as strong minded as you are as a person. That's not a slip up. That's it's not why. That is a slip up. No, that's not. Just, so, say you uh, know, yeah. whatever something is. Come on now. Say like you're in this moment. It's going through your mind. I'm about to cheat. <laughs> Something's telling you, you I'm about to cheat. But say you catch feelings for this person. This person and now I'm cheating. cheating. Exactly. So, so it's it's not a slip up because I thought about it. I had an opportunity to be like, no, nah, I love her. Everybody don't have that mindset. Oh, to I love him. Like, hey, no, I'm loyal to who I'm with. Well, then you need to be single until you can get your <laughs> life together and <laughs> but, I mean, have a, um, a strong mind because no. Everybody not strong minded though. That, that, that's going back to my conversation. No. Life is about survival of the fittest. Everybody's not built like that. Like everybody's not that person. Mm -hmm. Like what, what a lot of people want from people or what a lot of people expect people to be, everybody's not built like that. You could bring in somebody who got all the credentials in the world, but in totality he might not be built like that. It's just like life, like survival of the fittest. Like no. Everybody, everybody, and also everybody's relationship different. What you will tolerate and what somebody else will tolerate can be two different things. I mean, and I feel like if women know, if, but if a woman, a know, woman if a woman know there were, they're not going to stay with no man that's cheating on them because nine times out of ten there's somebody else highly, out there. I highly disagree. Me, I highly disagree. Mm. Jeff Bezos was dating um, his high school sweetheart. Who's that? Uh, creator of Amazon. Oh, okay. okay he's been okay. his high school sweetheart. He's been cheating on that lady for 20 years. She ain't, She just now decided to get a divorce. I'm pretty sure she was cheating on him then. There's no way she stayed. She stayed with that man for the money. Did you want to cheat on the billionaire though? Bullshit. Bullshit. I that goes to what you said. If I'm not being fulfilled or if they're not being fulfilled, it's only going to go to Alex and Alex and yeah, that, that's true. That's a good point. So she didn't divorce him because he's a billionaire. But she was definitely out here cheating on him. But two, I'm pretty sure she probably cheated first. But what I say is, everybody different though. Like, for, it's people. It's people out here who will be with a book. Somebody who's broke, who they have that understanding in their relationship. Like, my man is a cheater. But at any day he gonna come home. <laughs> at any day he gonna come home. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fact. Like it's, no. it's people who live like this. Like and the people that needs to know, they need to know that <laughs> it's, it's you are like, more than that, young lady. You know, you are more than that. Being but, somebody who loves you is just not gonna go out here and cheat on you because they're weak minded. That's not how. That's it not works. being weak minded though. Yes, it is. They're happy. If they're happy, if they're, if they're happy, like it, <laughs> that's them. But oh that's that's what they got going on. Like it's couples who openly have threesomes because like it's like women who bring in another girl just to make their man happy they that's believe man happy. Though, but that's different the emotions probably not going into the girl i was talking about emotionally cheating not just having sex yeah. but i'd say uh i would say that it just depends on the person. I guess. Yeah. But since we already on this topic, let's go ahead and go into uh, the conversation that we had last night about what modern women want and if they deserve, not if they deserve, but if they can handle what they say they want. The same with the men too. Well, me personally, I feel like you can't be asking um, for your person to be everything like, you know, you got to have a car and you don't have that. You got to have a house and you don't have that. Right. You're not matching him. Y'all not becoming one. You all not going to be equally yoked because he has to wait for you to get there or vice versa. It's never going to work. You got to find somebody that you are compatible with pretty much. Right. Y'all got to be on the same level. So if you're not there, then it's never gonna work. But that's my opinion. I agree with that. Opinion. That's my opinion. Like, you unless you just feel like you're the type of person that can 
go in and be like, okay, I'm gonna help you grow. But if that person not there mentally, it's never gonna work. Right. But they have to want it for themselves first. So. Yo, what I would say is, uh, I would say that I agree. Like, and I'm an avid, you know, supporter of Kevin Samuels. Mm-hmm. He's, he like says something very similar to what you said, just in a rude way. Mm-hmm. But I do feel like nowadays, like what, what modern females want and even modern men want, they have they're asking for unrealistic things that they can't even handle yeah. themselves. Yeah. Like you want a perfect example, like straight into the conversation. Um, a lot of women say they want a high value man, mm-hmm. a man who makes six plus figures. But she don't make it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I agree. They want a man to do this, that, and the third, and they can't even do half of what they want. Or they looking at somebody. This is another. This is one that I actually, I do have a problem with. Is a lot of women who, they're looking at the man who's working, Mm -hmm. you know, a plumber or somebody who's making an honest living, as. A bum or somebody that will never yeah. marry. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. Cause those be the cause those That's how plumbers make a lot of money. <laughs> For sure. Plumbers make a lot of money. But they be looking at them like they don't want they'd rather not be with that person. I feel like women nowadays they want drug dealers, they want scammers. We do have women out here that just want to be with um a man that is honest, but you also have women that just want the fast life. They just want money fast. They're willing to do any and everything for that money. So simple. Mm-mm. But I think that's why, like, that's a lot long. of people. I think that's why the marriage rates are down right now. Because I feel like you, you are what you attract. You are what you True. attract. So wherever you at in your life, whether it's going good or bad, the people that you're going to come in contact with are somebody that you attract it based on where you are at in your life. I That's agree. That's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. Like, and I've been put in many situations to where I had to be like, dang, the fuck? Like, you know, like, what are you doing? This is not you. But then I also had to realize, like, you, you know, you put yourself in that position. You obviously will because you attracted that type of person, that type of energy, spirit, or whatever. Around you, so. Right. Yeah. Well, how how do you think? Uh, what do you think is the solution to that? Or uh, do you think is that like? Do you think a lot of women they need to be to a they need to be by themselves. You have to get to know yourself inside and out first before you can love someone else. Okay. Before you can get to know another person on a deeper level level other than like a. Friendship, you have to know who you are first. But what you saying that is that to say that because whether they trying to learn somebody else or whatnot or whatever, mm-hmm. what about what about the that you they're saying they want something they never even experienced. It's mm-hmm. so like perfect example. Kevin Samuels said Kevin Samuels he says that I'm gonna have to watch his videos. I've never heard of him. Well, I, like, I've never watched any of his videos, like, none of that. He's funny. I have to he's go see. Yeah, he, 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 he dying. He rude, he rude as fuck. Like, but those are the best rude. people to me because they're very straightforward <laughs> and honest. Don't ask me for my opinion if you don't want it. Like, if you don't want the guy on this truth, don't ask me. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Do not ask me. Yeah, he'll crack it up. I'll Do be not like, ask me. <laughs> but if people be doing it to themselves. Dumbass question. But back to what I was saying is that with them at with a lot of these women asking for things that they didn't even have before, but they want the perfect man, but they don't want what comes with that idea of the reality of what comes with that actual man. And mm-hmm. what he was saying is that women who want high value men are men who's making uh good amount of money and doing this thing a lot of those men are cheaters mm-hmm. because they can have any woman that they want exactly. because they have money but money is the root of all evil but when they get the 
if that and when if they ever get that get that man, mm-hmm. nine times out of ten they're not gonna be happy because mm-hmm. the man cheating on them. Right. But they're not built for that part. They're not ready for that part. They're not ready for a man with money. Realistically, rea- in reality. So you feel like all men with money cheats? No, but a good, uh, it's a large portion of them. Yeah, definitely a large portion of them cheat. Oh my god! With a lot of money, yeah. I hang around people with a lot of money. So they all cheat. A good amount of them cheat. So you be in the backyard, do you be like just watching? Do you be like, bro, don't I'll cheat? Be chilling, but no. Do you be like, don't cheat? You know, she loves no. you. I mean, if somebody asks me, because I have homeboys who they cheat occasionally, but if they come to me and ask me my opinion, I'll be like, man, do love to your girl, but I'm not finna tell another man what to do. Like, that's what you do? That's what that shit do with me. You're a cheater, Eli. You're a I'm cheater. a cheater. You're a cheater at heart. You hang out with cheaters. Like, all No, I'm, I'm actually not cheating, but... Also, that, but that's the difference between me and a lot of other people, a lot of other young men. So okay, I know who wait. I am as a person. So question. So if you feel like whenever you get to the point where you want to be, um, like, financially, do you right. feel like you're going to become a cheater? No. Because I'm, I'm a loyal person at heart. Mm-hmm. So if I'm, if I, if me and you say we in a committed relationship, Ain't no cheat like and we we have these rules, we come together, ain't no cheating, mm-hmm. ain't no this, that, and the third. That's why I'm gonna abide by. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm a loyal person. Mm-hmm. But now if it ain't no rules or we just messing around, then I'm doing me. Like, but like even if I'm single, mm-hmm. if I'm single, I'm not I'm not fucking off like that. That's not me as a person, like when I'm in a relationship, if I'm in a relationship or not in a relationship, I'm not out here just like trying to get on the next female type person. Now, I just know I know who I am as a person. That's just not me. Mm-hmm. It's like me as a person. I don't drink mm-hmm. and I don't smoke because mm-hmm. I just know it's not me. Mm-hmm. It ain't. I'm not built like that. That, that. that ain't me. I know that certain shit is not for me, and I'm not like afraid or I don't have no problem telling people that like that ain't for me. It might be for you or like if you do it, I'm gonna be like okay, that's what you do, but. I also I stand on principle. Mm-hmm. So like, if I don't smoke, like, ain't nobody gonna influence me to smoke. If I don't wanna smoke, I'm not smoking. Or if, if I'm hanging around a bunch of cheaters, they not gonna influence me to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all do, y'all got shit to do with me. I'm not gonna tell though, but. I do not like cheating. So. <laughs> I can't do <laughs> But cheaters, and some women they know they be cheating. I know, I know, I went to school with, I went to college. I'm in college with a lot of people who get cheated on, and they know they getting cheated on. I'd rather be single. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Don't bother me. If you know you're a cheater, don't talk to me. And also, another thing I learned is don't that talk to me. it's certain people who know they get cheated on. They just don't want to see it. Yeah. They don't see it. I they heard it's like, what is it? Um, disrespectful cheating. Yeah. Don't let me find out. That's disrespectful. Don't do it in front of everybody. Yeah. So. <laughs> but if that makes you happy, shit. I support it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not meant to share. Don't do it in front of everybody. That's crazy. Would you rather be cheated in? Neither. Like I said, leave me alone. If you know you're gonna cheat, leave me alone. Don't bother me. Mm-mm. Do you believe in soul ties? So, uh, go into detail. So, like, you're having sex with different people. Do you believe that um, if they're carrying bad energy, you're going to possibly there's a possibility that you could get that bad energy or whatever. Feelings that they may have been carrying. No, not if they're uh, a strong-minded person. It depends on the mental state of that person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, cause I've been around like the worst of the worst type of people, mm-hmm. but I don't let. I'm strong-minded, so I'm not. I don't let people influence mm-hmm. what I got going on. Like, mm-hmm. I could be hanging around a murderer or a mass murderer or a drug dealer type shit, but I'm not gonna let whatever they're doing interfere with what I got going on. Like, 
So you can just go have sex and just believe that there's nothing gonna be given to you. There's nothing that's gonna be given to you. Like, yeah. Like, what do you mean, like, sex-wise or in general? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, whenever you're having sex, okay, can you just have a uh, casual sex? Uh, yes, to a certain extent, though. Like, it can't be with a whole bunch of people, cause I'm not that type of person. I'm also very health conscious too. I don't eat meat. I'm the type of person like I got everything got to be crisp. I get my nails done. Everything got to be crisp. Or I get a haircut every week. I, everything got to be on point. So I'm not just gonna be out here willy nilly. This girl, that girl. That ain't me. If I'm having casual sex, it's probably gonna be like one or two people. Got on the street. But are you like emotionally attached to that person, or is it just like? Uh, I know your first and last name. You're cool. We can have sex. Um. No. I won't be emo. It won't be emotionally attached. But I'm a nice guy at heart, so I'm a still like. I'm. A, I guess that's why I'm not a cheater either. Cause like I'm a nice guy, so like even if I'm not cheating, I'm gonna still be like, "How's your day? Like, what's up?" Like how's like how's your mental state? I'm just that type of person. Where I open the door for you type. Of, like, I'm not just gonna be like, okay, we gonna have sex real quick and then go on about your day or whatever. Like, that's not me as a person. I'm biting some food or something. Like, well, <laughs> I'm not just like, I'm not an ass. I'm a really nice person at heart. So it wouldn't be it wouldn't be emotionally attached if it was. I care. I care. I care enough to like be dealing with you. So that's some type of emotion. Emotion you could have. Like, okay, well, yeah. But I'm just, but that, I'm a nice person at heart though. So, yeah. but I limit myself. I like, limit to who I do it because I'm very, very, very health conscious, and I try to keep my stress levels as. And having a lot of women or dealing with a lot of women is a shit ton of stress that I don't need. It is. Once again, women are emotional creatures. Yeah. So it's hard to judge. And I don't be trying to hear it because I'm the type of person, I don't argue. I I don't even want to argue. Like, I'm just like, okay. And that sends people through the roof. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. It used to send people through the roof, but it's just like, I do it now, like, okay, I don't even care enough to, well, I care, but I don't, I'm not going to be having no yelling match back and forth. Yeah, I ain't doing that. It's okay. It's good, okay, cool. <laughs> next, <laughs> you like, what's the next topic? No. <laughs> that's me, that's me as a person, I need. Yeah, I'd be like, okay, that's what I do. Yeah, that's me. Or K, K does it. Like just the K and the dot. Oh yeah, oh yeah. K. Yeah. But yeah. it just depends. It just depends. Like I'm a. I'm like okay. But I have a. I feel like I mastered the art of not giving a fuck. <laughs> like, like. You really don't. Like you just be. <laughs> <laughs> but like. You just be like. Yeah, I'm down. I'm cool. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, shit. I have to be like, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <good. laughs> Don't mind me. Yeah, that's just me as a person. Like, shit. Yeah, I like that about you, though. You're mellow. You're very mellow. And then I just, like, I'm a vibe. Like, I be chilling. And a lot of people, now, I do, one thing I do, a lot of people that say about me though, I troll too much. Like, I'm a big troll. Like, half the stuff that come out of my mouth, I don't even be serious. What is trolling? Trolling is like, uh, uh, joking. <laughs> you never heard of trolling? Trolling is like what people do, like, you, uh, playing. 
Mm-hmm. Are you, you bullshit. Like, I'm like, never heard of you. I'll say random shit. You do. Yeah, I just say random shit. Or but no, I've never heard of that. Trolling is just like, um, it's telling the jokes, but you don't, you're not serious though. It's just like you're bullshit. That's the type of person I am. I'm, I just be pushing. Like I'm goofy. I'm, I'm goofy. I'm mad goofy. <laughs> it's just everything be funny. And that, another thing, one thing that does in my past relationship, or just even like, and that's actually low key. I'm be brutally honest. One of the one of the major reasons why I don't have people on the show anymore is because I don't take nothing serious. Like, I master the art of not giving a fuck so much. It can be more serious shit to you. I'm gonna be like, okay. Yeah, I might laugh. <laughs> I might laugh. You do. And that's very, like, disrespectful. <laughs> that's, you don't show emotion. That's bad. <laughs> that's bad. That's not funny. I'm not gonna laugh. Or, um, because, you know, I sympathize with his old co stars. That's. That's one thing I say that I did. Probably, I probably did wrong. Was I laughed? Like, did you apologize for it? No. Why? What do I apologize for? Because it meant something to them, and they felt comfortable Y'all, enough to come to you and to say it, and you just said okay and laughed at them. But when you came in my group, we had this discussion. What was the discussion? Oh, that I'm an ass. Yeah. Wow. That's the whole point of the group. The whole point. Of, the whole point of that group was everybody in here. It's a goofball. And going to be an ass. So not an ass, but so we, you can't. Every, we don't you take already said serious. yes to be an take, ass. We don't take nothing serious. So everything is joke. Everything about this is joke. But you can tell when somebody is being sincere about something, Elijah. Uh, I have. A, that's nothing. I have a hard time reading people, and I think that's where a lot of women fuck up. A lot of women. They don't want to say certain shit, but they expect us to read their minds. I can't read uh, minds for worth of shit. I, I don't know how nobody feeling. I don't know. I can't. I can't pick up on shit. Like you got to. Like, I'm the type of you need to, to get your thing. third eye together. Get your chakras. My third. Eye. But once you start to me, I recently was. I just started um to read people like at first I couldn't I used to just be so open and nice but um I went through something it's like I know off rip I can tell like exactly who you are what type of energy you carry like all of that what are your motives I can read like, I can, all of that the energy that I can pick up I can pick up on negative energy mm-hmm. like everybody I, like, I mean I feel like everybody can because you can feel it right but like as far as like um, relationship or like flirty type energy type shit, I don't pick up on that shit. Flirting is weird. Like when you do, you have to be direct <laughs> me, with me. like when you do like <laughs> you know like flirting like oh my god I don't like that like the cheesy flirting. Even if somebody was doing it to me, they'd have to be uh, up front and just like be. I want you to say, like, whatever the fuck. Like, just be brutally honest. I'm, like, a transparent person. I want you to, like, say, this is how you're feeling. So, just say that shit. But why would they do that if you may not take them serious? Oh, yeah, you're right. (laughs) (laughs) But Um, I have my my moments of, like, you have to just say that. uh, I wouldn't trust it. You would have to. That person would have to say that. Okay, Eli. Please don't laugh. This is like a real. This is, my feelings are involved. This is a real conversation. So they have to say that every time. No, but it just have to. You have to just. Build, you should know these. You, have you to should build. be able to feel that when somebody's about to be like sincere. I can't to a certain extent, but I just I have a hard time reading people because I I'm antisocial. Like I know people see me, they see me doing real estate, they see me doing podcasts and shit. But honestly, God, I hate people. Like. When I go to the mall, I I might see you, like I might know you, or I'm, I go to a club or something. I might know you, but I walk past you because I don't want to talk. 
like I have like uh what you call it social anxiety yeah yeah I don't want to talk like I will I would say that I hate <laughs> people but I do that <laughs> but like if it's obvious like I know I'm gonna have to speak I mentally prepare myself for it but if um I see you and you don't see me I'm probably not gonna speak yeah unless I like know you yeah like, me uh I want to vibe with you, but if if it's just that that awkward, hey hey, I'm not really. Or I'll act like, <laughs> or I'll act like um I'm doing something. Like, <laughs> if I see you like in the, I pull out my phone and be like, oh I hope they don't see me. <laughs> just me. I hope they don't see me. Cause I don't want to talk. Oh, I don't want to talk. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel it. Yeah, that's totally me as a person. Yeah, but. That's just me. Um, we go ahead and go into the next topic of mental health. Um, I know you're um one of the reasons why I brought you on the show today is because I know you're like very spiritual. Um, and you're very like you're one of those people who are very very in tune with you know how important your mental health is. Mm-hmm. So I definitely want you to elaborate on like. How you feel that people, the route people should take in regards to their mental health? Well, I can't say, you know, like the routes people should take, but what works for me is like, um, I like to be around water. That helps with my mental health a lot. Right. Like, um, just going out and just releasing all your thoughts, everything that's going on, because not everybody is into like therapy or whatever the case may be, or um sharing what they're thinking right all the time you know to other people so that's one thing that i like to do journal everybody if you don't have a journal you should go get one that will be your best friend to allow you to express yourself freely you know without having to feel like you're being judged by someone um it's just solely you you and your thoughts and you can go back and look at the different things and how far you've come. Um, but yeah, just find whatever works for you. You know, my journey is not meant for everybody. Were you always in a positive mental state? Um, like, for the most part, yes. But I have my moments to where it's just like my brain just sometimes shuts down. Okay. So I have to know how to cope with that so that I won't go insane. So, yeah. Okay, that's what's up. I feel like um, everybody should take heed and um, looking at getting into therapy, or if not therapy, not for you, maybe uh, doing having an honest conversation about whatever you're going through with somebody that you trust. Mm-hmm. Just to get that conversation out because I do feel like it's very, very helpful and beneficial mm-hmm. uh, when people, you know, have a, um, they just have that relation, they just have that honest, that moment to God truth where it's like, I just let everything out. And also working towards solution. I feel like a lot of people go wrong when it comes to not working towards solutions. They want to, they want to, um, cry, do this, that, and the third, but they don't want to work towards a solution. There's so many people, and that's why I, I really stopped hanging out, hanging around a lot of people, is because I see, like, it's a lot of, everybody want to complain, but don't nobody want to put in the work, right? But, fix something. Like, fix this shit. But how do they fix it? Some people aren't aware of where they are mentally, so how they're supposed to go out here and fix it by themselves. That's why you bring in other people. But, but you, you, but you, you just made it very transparent. You gotta but be- you just made it very clear. So are you just saying like you could possibly be that person for somebody like in your friend group? Could you have possibly been that person for them to go in to just sit there and be like, I'm feeling this way. My mental health is this way, or whatever the case may be. Would you? Could you be possibly be that person for them? Yeah. How have extent. you just said to that, a certain extent? What? What certain extent is that? If right. you're supposed to be my friend, I'm supposed to be able to come and confide in you because we're like, at this point, we're going to be best friends for life. That's not true. 
Well, it's not true. Every friend is different. You might have a friend that you just uh, go out with so and I, go smoke weed. And so, I would, out of those 10 friends, none of them was your real friends. Oh, yeah. The, well, out of all... Because you said somebody in the friend group, I'm not, you know, just trying to understand a little bit better, but you said somebody in the friend group um, came and they were being basically sentimental, letting you know, like, I'm feeling this type of way, and you just laughed at them. Yeah. But also, that particular person um, was brought into the group by somebody else. because. Uh, but they obviously, y'all... That person obviously trusted you enough to come and tell you, like, this is why I'm mad. You just laughed at me. So that's another yeah. reason why people don't well, know how to deal with came, their mental health. Because well, when they came in the group, we made it clear that they, we made it clear on what this group chat was. We made it clear, like, we don't care if your mama die. Oh, wow. We're joking. Like, we're, oh, wow. we're, just, like, we're going hard. Oh, like, wow. We're hard. We turn I like definitely wouldn't want to be y'all friends. <laughs> no, that's not the same. For people who are out there working on your mental health, those are not the type of friends that you need. Because that's probably extreme. Yeah, I, that's, take, I take that back. Yeah. Like, mm. even then, like, what are we doing together? Like, if I can never come to you as a friend outside of my job, pretty much, then... We would have an honesty night to where everybody... Oh, God, like no. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, uh, I don't want to be your friend. I don't want anything to do with you because you're not healthy. You're not helping me grow because Holy you think everything is a joke, pretty much. That's what you said. Is. Yeah, but that, but see, that's the thing. Like I'm saying that that was the group. The group. Maybe you were the only one that understood that. No, nah, we not. Nah, a group of us understood, but it was where we went wrong was when we start bringing in other people outside of. It. <laughs> When, when people start getting into relationships and bringing in their significant others, that's when shit went left. You should have been like, okay, this is not what this podcast is for. Yeah, but then it, it is already, we was already in too deep. Shit started going left, like, real fast. And, like, every day is some new shit. But even, like, when it was, like, the new shit, like, one thing about me is my show gonna go on. I'm not stopping shit. Like, even if it gotta be me in the broom, we shoot. Eli, Eli's viewpoint. We uh, we recording. You can't do everything by yourself, though. You're right, but that's what the engineers for. Mm. <laughs> 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 we got an engineer. <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. But you're right. But also, like time to So, how do you life. cope with your mental health? Because you seem life? like you have everything together. Um. I don't have everything together, but I'm a solution-based person. So if I'm feeling like, you know, I'm going through something at the moment or something's not going my way, what I first try to do is I try to talk to my OGs, you know, just, you know, get their viewpoint on what I'm doing wrong. So your OGs, they can come to you and be emotional, and you won't laugh at them. Like, are y'all on that level? Okay. I'm just going to make sure. I mean, they joke too, but I value their opinion. Like, I value their opinion before I value somebody my age opinion mm-hmm. but yeah I talk to my OGs or I will study like I'm an avid like a lot of people don't know like even though I'm goofy um, and I be trolling most of the time I'm an avid studier like when I tell you I study everything everything mental health religion uh, spirituality uh sex uh health. so you get everything from a book pretty much no well so what books, out, so books, outside from, so outside of like working books or whatever the case may be what do you do to help elijah's mental health stay on track like what do you do to make oh, sure that I you're not mentally sane um i will so like do yoga okay okay um and just have now, like now that you know my yoga instructor days are a little bit over with as of right now podcasting podcast is my therapy mm-hmm. like when i'm podcasting because and just having conversations in general because i'm a brutally honest person like you're not gonna catch me lying and little shit like that i'm never lying about nothing i'm gonna keep it a buck i might make it pretty 
I'm not lying about shit. I'm just telling you what you got on the street. Or if people want to hear it or not, you'd be like, yeah. Shit happened. <laughs> but um yoga, talking to people and um working out. Mm-hmm. And just That's my biggest thing to help with my mental health. Well, I wouldn't even just say my mental health, but to help me. Like help wise. I don't know. Or with my mental health. Cause you know, my mama my mama's a um nurse practitioner, a psych nurse practitioner. She's a, a psychiatric nurse practitioner. So like my mama deals with like in the mental health field a lot. So like I have no problem with being honest with myself. So if I know I'm having a down day, that's where like me working towards that solution comes from. It's like, okay, this is why I'm feeling like this. So after I'm, you know, in my little period or whatever, how I'm gonna fix this? What I need to do to fix this? Like, if something is bothering me, what are we gonna do to get past it? We gotta get past this. Or if I run into a hurdle, we gotta we gotta figure this shit out. Like, let's get to it. Type shit. Mm-hmm. And then worst case scenario, you know, I talk to my mama or people, but it's very rare that I'm in a space to where I'm just oh so down bad type of shit because I'm it's not me as a person I'm always happy mm-hmm. I, and then I never let nobody kill my mood like mm-hmm. and that's just how I live and then I've also just gotten used to being by myself too like at first I was one of those people I couldn't be by myself oh uh, I love it by myself I do everything by myself yeah. I do everything by myself <laughs> everything you can think of. That's me now. Just, just been me. But I enjoy it. Like, I mean, but it ain't for everybody, though. It is for everybody. Everybody should experience being alone. Some people can't. Some people can. You say people can't do a lot of things. Yes, they can. Like I said, they put survival it in their mind, of the you know, if they put it in their mind and they feel like, okay, I'm, I'm going to be alone and I feel like this is going to help me be better, they're going to do it. Mine but never I'm, matter. But I'm saying, like, it's Your people, mind trumps everything. I'm saying, but it's people, like, it's people that... Everybody can do it. Before they'll be alone, they'll kill themselves. They'll commit suicide before they sit there and just sit there and just be alone. Shit. I feel like people, to me, people who commit suicide, they... They they've done things to get people to notice, like hey something's wrong, take action, and they do it through like probably cutting themselves, writing like people show like when leading up to that moment like okay this is it I had enough nobody hears me that's be the main you know I agree but it's people it's people who. Uh... Even if you see the signs, they don't want to talk. When I was, matter of fact, when I was, um, what was it, middle school or elementary? I think it was early middle school. It was just one particular girl. She would do shit like that, like cut herself. And I walked up to her, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, like she cut that shit out. But she didn't want to talk. Is that how you said it? I wouldn't want to talk either. Yeah, I, I was really honest. I, 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 I wouldn't want to talk either. <laughs> if anything, I'm... What are you doing? No. People will talk. You just have to know how to talk to those people. Seriously. People will talk. If you create a safe space for another person to come and confide in you, they will talk to you. I've, I've been told I come off too hard. To you're an ass. You just let that be known on tonight's podcast that you're an ass. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <It's> <laughs> you did. So I, I'm working on bettering myself. Like, because as a matter of fact, when I got into the real estate company I'm with now, uh, they told me that um I had to chill, relax on how I'd be addressing the client. Because I would like early on. When certain shit would go left when it comes to the deal, I would just say the shit with no solution. I'd just be like, well, um, 
the seller said this, or this happened, and then I couldn't know, I wouldn't leave no like follow up or nothing to it. Just be like, and the kind be mad as me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm working on myself though. Like, I, I think I've been doing better lately. I've been more PG, as I would say. It's not even about, you know, being PG. It's just like where you are mentally. Like, you're just an ass. I'm not gonna say that. I'm just. You're an ass. It's not even about being honest. You're just being an ass. I say how I feel. Like, I say how I feel in the moment. I'm not, I don't sugarcoat it. Or so you don't think about it before you say it? I think you just about say it. it. Oh, I think about it. Because if I don't think about it, I won't say it. <laughs> I definitely think it ran across my mind. <laughs> yeah. It ran, it ran across. Right, <laughs> <she. laughs> You have to work on that though, because not everybody is gonna take you. You know. Yeah, you're right. Everybody's not gonna take you. You're right. I'm actually working on, um, you know, establishing myself and um, getting acquainted with more positive and productive people. Mm -hmm. I feel like I was like in a like little box to where I'd just be around people who like. They don't really have no real goals or aspirations. Mm -hmm. They just living mm -hmm. type shit. I feel like that's that's one of the things that was really hindering me. Hindering me this year. Mm -hmm. That's where I feel like I I went wrong this year. It's like I gave attention to people that didn't need the attention. Mm -hmm. When I could have just you know surrounded myself you know with a a more positive group you know that they're productive. And it helped you change your views on life because, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> ugh. Mm, what do you feel like? I went. What, what, what do you feel like are the points that, um, views that I'm wrong with, or I need help with? The way you come off, like you really just sat here and said that <laughs> if somebody' mother died. <laughs> You're basically not going to care. Like, you're not going to show any sympathy for that person care. or their family. I'm going, no, not You need just, to work on being able to deal with your emotions. Because I feel like you be you have them, but you'd rather not show them. Like, you'd rather just flex hard. Like, you have to be at attention at all times. No, I show them, but at, in most cases, like, a lot, a lot of times, I have emotions that I do show, but in most cases, I don't care. Like when certain shit happens or when certain stuff happens that don't really got no real effect on me or if something happens to me, but it don't really have no major effect. I'm not, a lot of times I don't care. Like, I don't be bothered. Like, it just be like, okay. Or not, not, a lot of times it, it would be some shit I already knew or some something I was already expecting. So it just be like. And then also, I'm a very accepting person, so I accept shit. I accept shit for what it is. So like, if some bullshit come up or some shit, it's like, well, it happens. Like, perfect example: death. When my, like over the course of this year, I've lost several friends to you know car wrecks, murders. Uh, the worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. I like several, several uh, people I went to high school with are dead. Like over at least 10 people. But I'm not tripping. Like I already know like, I mean it happened. So I accept it for what it is. Like, she happens. I understand how life is. So she happens. But like I'm not the person like, Oh, damn. I might say, like, damn, that's crazy how that happened, but I'm not going to be like, oh, boo-hoo, please come back. Or I mean, of course, school. because that's not directly affecting you. It's not happening in your family. Well, so now, if it... Even when it happens in my family, it's just like, well, damn. Elijah, you can say that now. How'd that happen? Only, only time I probably feel a way is if my immediate... Right, that's what I'm I saying. Live, like the people that I see, I'm with every single day. 
I that's what I'm saying. Late, so but, those other people that you lost throughout your years in high school, they didn't really have a. But we was close though. They had an impact on us. But okay. it's like you're not here no more. So it's like, what am, what am I gonna do? Like I can cry like, and then what? We are hanging out like every day. Yeah. I mean, that's serious. Woo! I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Okay. I've been told I'm, I'm a fucked up individual. You, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the gift. <laughs> but you definitely need to work on some things. Like, are you going to be lonely for life? I'm lonely? What do you mean lonely? I feel like I just need to change my uh, surroundings. Like, as far as being lonely, because I'm lonely right now, friend-wise, because I choose to be. Because I could be with people, but it's like, these people are not being productive. I, I'm just, right now, I'm in the mind state of changing up. I said, I guess I'm just going through the early stages of life to, like, figure out who my real, who I want to be there. 10 years from now. Mm-hmm. Like, I want people to like, if I bring you around, I want you to benefit me 10 years down the line. I don't want to just be, I'm around and all we did in our 20s was party 24 seven. We party drunk, get drunk every single day. Ain't do no real, no real aspirations. Ain't do shit. Just, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm an old lady. I be tired. I be so tired. <laughs> I be so tired. But when I do go out, I'm going out and I'm having a good time. But see, that's that was the people I was around. Like everybody I was like most people in my age group that went to school, like their mindset is not my mom. It's not. And it blows me every day. It's not it's just like the people that I know that I've grown up with, because the people that we went to school with, we still like they still here with us. So it's like at this point we just one big ass family. And it's just crazy to see the people that like, what's the shit, or you know, thought they was the shit in high school yeah, ain't know. shit because yeah, well, reality hits. With yeah, you. like you don't know shit because you thought you was the shit in high school. <laughs> now you just <laughs> bummy because you not there mentally or you not there physically or whatever the case may be. You to gain like thirty hundred pounds. I don't know if that's a yeah, that too. That's a lot. That's true. But, but you know, like for real though, like. 50, 60 pounds because you decided to not do shit. Like you said, be productive. Like, what are you yeah. good at? What are you passionate about? What motivates you? Right. So. I agree. But I want to be one of those people. That's why I don't have friends. 10 years from now, I want to <laughs> be like. That's why I do not have friends. I don't want to be that old person who, like, when they look back on their 20s or when they look back on their teenage years and be like, I made a shit ton of mistakes. Like, I mean, of course, I make some mistakes, but I don't want to be that person that's like, I just regret everything I fucking did. Like, a lot of people I be around or I interact with, they be like, don't be like me. Because they knew better, but they decided to do, you know, the opposite because their friends was doing it. Because nine times out of ten, their friends was doing it and their friends was doing it, so I'm going to go out and do it. Like, I know my limits. I can see that. I know my limits. I know what I can do, will not do. And then um, I also, I want to be that person. I want to be that person who like, okay, I did this when I was in my teens. I did this in my 20s. And this is how I got to where I got to. Yeah. Like step by step. Because I feel like that's missing. And especially in the black community. Like, I feel like, you know, when a lot of people get successful, they don't be like, hey, look, y'all. Like bring the kids around, like they forget where they come from. Exactly. Or they they'll just be like, from. figure that shit out on their own. Yeah. Like I did type shit. Yeah. Like yeah. I wanna be able to be like, y'all, look, this is what I did. I grinded. I did this. I stacked money. I worked here. I did this. Yeah. I was homely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I um. I think about like my younger days a lot. A lot of people really help me like the people that I come in contact, contact with 
Mm -hmm. It really helped me. It got me to the point. I do think like everything that's happened in like in my life, I even the good and the bad, I do appreciate it though. Because I've done a lot. Like if you know little TC, Tatiana. <laughs> yeah. But nothing like extreme, but I've done a lot. Done a lot, seen a lot. Like no coke. No, Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? No. And don't do it ever. Crack is whack. Yeah, drugs. Don't do drugs, kid. Crack I don't do whack. drugs at all. Or drink. Crack is whack. <sighs> but, um, anything else you want to say? Anything you want to get off your chest? Nope. Okay, well, um, y'all, I appreciate to go eat. everybody who, uh, listens to this show. Um, I want to make a big announcement too. Um, with the way uh, Spotify is updating their technology and stuff, now we'll be able to, for anybody who's listening to this on Spotify, you guys will be able to see the video on Spotify as well. Um, so that's something new to be on the lookout for for everybody listening on Spotify. Uh, and YouTube, you guys see the video there. Um, whatever platform you're listening to, like if you're listening to an Apple podcast, YouTube or whatever, Please leave a review. Let us know how we did. Yeah. Because uh, this was my first time. Yeah, right. You did good, though. Thank it you. It flowed, like, naturally. Shit. And this, actually, y'all, this show was not put together at all. Like, I don't even have notes for this shit. I didn't know. I thought people just go in there and talk. But... Nah, you gotta, like, be prepared. Oh. But I'm a natural, though. Like, I can mm -hmm. go in and, like, bullshit for, like, 30 minutes. That's what I did last week. Like, good conversation <laughs> always flows. But, um, yes, thank you for having me. No problem. My name is Tatiana Howard. I have a small business. I'm a pro. I'm oh, yeah, start, yeah, for I'm sure. I'm about to start promoting everybody on this podcast if I'm going to be on here. But, no, seriously, though, I feel like a lot of us, um, young African American, with us on the end out here, sh should be out here promoting and um, sure. helping each other because at the end of the day, we all we got. And we fought hard. Our ancestors fought hard for us to be here. So, yeah. Shout out to the Alexander brand. I have a bakery called Tati Sweets and Treats. It's good. I'll be at the local flea market. Um, I know. Who else do you know? k Aesthetics coming soon. That's my cousin. Um, start Evolving Life Forever. That's a small um, clothing brand as well. So, we're going to leave the links down below. Um, shout out to... Um Racks TV. Yeah, I, I don't really. I heard a lot about it. Keep going. I don't know nobody. That's it. I, I really. I ain't gonna lie. I really don't interact with. We're gonna get it popping though. We gotta support each other. <laughs> <I ain't gonna laughs> <go. laughs> we gotta get it. We gotta get it going though. But, but anybody's gonna, welcome to like you know come promote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an advocate for black success. Ad, yeah, if anybody um wanna buy another thing, y'all wanna buy ad space on this uh platform. Feel free to email me, uh, DM. Prices are low right now. Um, but we are doing ad space. Or just ad space on any of the shows at Change Your Horizons Media Group, LLC. Doing ad space. Uh, so just, you know, email me or, you know, email the company. And we'll get to that. But other than that, I appreciate everybody who took time out to listen. Appreciate all my listeners. I appreciate everybody. Um, I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I think we're gonna do another. I'm gonna do another show before the year's over with. So I'm going to say that this is the last episode. We gonna do next Saturday. Okay, yeah, we gonna do next Saturday. I, I guess that would be the Christmas episode. But on that note, I hope everybody be safe. Let us know how we did. Shout out Alexander Brand. Um, and hopefully we take this podcast to the next level. I'm going like full throttle next year, 2022. Um, and. Also, if you guys want to support me, uh, f feel free to send me some big Bitcoin because I'm graduating tomorrow. I'm um, getting my first degree. Not the Bitcoin. Yeah, big, <laughs> big on crypto. This lady at my job says every morning when she come in, we're going to the moon. So whenever she go to the moon, I'm going to be right here <laughs> on the sideline with my sign say she's going to the moon because she says it every day faithfully. I'm going to the moon. Oh, I don't know why she's so. saying that. Bitcoin is actually down like. 
No. Thirty thousand right now. It's not just Bitcoin. It's like crypto. Oh yeah. Crypto, all the crypto, other right. stuff. Like, if she says she's going to the moon, she's going to the moon. For sure. But all right. Crypto is the wave. Um, you know, you can either get with it or get left. Ten years from now, I guarantee you, crypto is going to change the game and how the world get run now. For sure. I'm like willing to bet every last dollar on it. So weird. But um. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. But yeah, uh, this has been Eli's viewpoint. Peace. Intention to be me. Woo! Okay. How, how did it show? Was it good? <laughs> mm -hmm. The only thing wrong is pull that mic down, pull it towards you. Okay. And your guess was on the mic better than you. I hate to say. She just sitting there, and, but you know, it, it, right. you you it's still cut record. It's still on good. Okay. But you know you could. Here you I going in and out and in and out and she just sitting there just mm, looking at you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. So I went 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah. Dang, sorry. No, it's, it's just, that's good. He just became that's, video on air. That's content. <laughs> content. Yep. All right, so stop this. That recorded the whole thing? It recorded everything, I think. Wow. It's still recording. You got to end.